This is what our world could have looked like, and we were once on track. This is an aero car. It was one of the first of many flying cars ever made, and it could drive, it could fly, and it could switch back and forth within a few minutes. Everything seemed perfect for a future of flying cars, so why isn't that future here? Flying cars have been on people's minds since cars were first invented. Henry Ford even planned to make his own flying car in 1926. He started with a single-seat airplane to show planes can be mass-produced, but after an early prototype of his plane crashed and the pilot died, it was abandoned. Since then, there's been cars that have propellers on the top, folding wings, a bottom with huge fans, or straight up CGI. They aren't anything new and they're entirely possible to make today, but it doesn't really matter. To drive a car, you need this, a license and insurance. But to fly an aero car, you need to have a driver's license, you also needed a pilot's license. You needed to register it as a car, you needed to register it as an aeroplane. You needed a radio operator's license for the aeroplane, you needed a medical certificate to be a pilot. And because it was over 17 feet long when the wings were being towed, in America, you needed a chauffeur's license. And a chauffeur's license required another different medical. These rules are part of what keeps flying extremely safe. For every billion passenger miles on motorcycles in America, 213 people die. For a car, it's 7, and for an airplane, it's 0.07. Planes are far safer than almost any other form of transport. You're more likely to end your life from walking than flying. But flying by itself is inherently more dangerous than being on the ground. If something goes wrong in the air, you can't just pull over, but you could plummet onto the roof of a house and destroy the house, the plane, and the people inside. This usually doesn't happen though because the planes we use are highly advanced and skilled fully managed. But if everyone had a flying car, this care would likely go out the window and Elon Musk agrees. Let's just say that if something's flying over your head, if there are a whole bunch of flying cars going all over the place, um, that is not an, anxi an, an anxiety reducing uh, <laughs> situation. You're thinking like, did they service their hubcap? Or is it going <laughs> to come off and guillotine me as they're flying past? Because of this, instead of flying, Elon wants cars to go into tunnels. This way, they won't be falling out of the sky and they'll be doing what they're designed to do, stay on the ground. The whole point of a car is to stay on the ground and an airplane is meant to fly. They're complete opposites. And even though shampoo and conditioner can be a two-in-one bottle, they probably shouldn't and they're probably better on their own rather than being a mediocre combination. And the same thing goes for planes and cars. Flying is also just way more expensive. A normal car just has to go horizontally, but a flying car has the added cost of going up, staying there, and going down. All of this propulsion makes a huge noise difference as well. A car going 65 miles per hour from about 25 feet away is about 75 decibels of sound, while a helicopter at 100 feet is about 100 decibels, which works out to be almost 8 times louder than a car. Also, flying cars need huge runways to take off and land, and even a drone-like car would still need landing pads. Because of this, along with fuel costs and pollution, aero cars and dozens of other flying cars never came mainstream, because it's simply not worth it. Other flying vehicles separate from cars are coming though, but instead of being for everyone to drive, they'll look more like public transport for the sky, where there'll be taxis and buses flying around. For example, Uber is planning to make its own flying taxi and floating buses are in development. And instead of going off a runway, they'll go straight up and down, which is more realistic in big cities. This way, experts or even robots can keep control of the advanced flying steering wheels so no inexperienced flyers hit the sky. Plus, it limits the total amount of deadly flying projectiles in the air while still letting more people use air transportation by diluting the cost. So, although you might not have your own flying machine, you can still be part of a transportation revolution.